Afternoon, Dave. Afternoon. Afternoon, because it's late on Thursday for various reasons, but uh, this will be out first thing tomorrow morning. So Brilliant. Just uh, your start, I've got a message from Barnsley, um, two people here, John Leiden and Carol Newell, just like to wish them happy Christmas and a new year, and look forward to seeing them next time at the ground or for coming to the ground, but just wishing them too all the best for Christmas, plus Bonzi as well, and plus everybody of course. Absolutely, thank you for that. Yeah. Um, let's start straight away with the bad news we got today, which is that Woking's now in t along with nearly all of Surrey in Tier 3, mm. so we've had one game with a crowd back mm. to support the lads, and now no behind closed doors again. It's sheer, anything is not a massive surprise, uh, I don't no. think anybody's totally shocked, so it is disappointing, I got the news, I was at some training ground today and I got the news coming through, um, disappointing because the fans made a massive difference to the lads last week, as anybody can tell. Um, it was lovely to see them, um, the players loved to see them as well. But the bottom line is, I do think it's a massive surprise to be honest. I think everybody was seeing that, so I'm not surprised at all. I'm disappointed, of course, disappointed not having fans here and not being here against all the shot and people like that. But, um, but the bottom line is, I'm not totally surprised. We'll let it get on with it, and I think the club, the club would have been prepared to get on with it anyway. And they've done a good decision by not getting the tickets out, in my opinion, yeah. because there would have been refunds and things like that. So I thought the club were very sensible. Wait until the first year, wait until the day, saying, listen, it's not Rob and saying, oh, I've got to get your money back and all that, you know. So it was a very decision to make. And um, the bottom line is, like, you know, we've just got to get on with it, we've got to win games. We will see the fans again. They'll be down here in the thousands before long, maybe next season, maybe whatever. But we've just got to get through this time where it's difficult for us, but difficult for the whole company. So I think we've got to get on with it. Yeah, I think that's the important thing. You have to keep that in mind. That yeah. it's, it's difficult for everybody, not just football. I, I not definitely, that, as you know, I had it, didn't I? I had it and I was on my sure, yeah. bed and obviously it, it, I, I thought it was flu, as you know. And um, obviously I knew afterwards it wasn't. So it is a dangerous thing. We do got to be careful. The club's put a great shot against all the shot of um, goal the shot a great shot on Saturday and you know, all against Hartlepool um, I thought it was a great show all round I think it was greatly managed by everybody to be honest so uh, I just think that you know it's very sad but it's not a surprise I don't think supporters will be surprised either so uh, it's just uh, it's happened so we just got to move on the only thing what matters to us is getting through the next round of the cup and then um, beating them on boxing day that's the only thing that matters yeah um, it will also affect the East League game which is a, a doubly a shame in a way in as much as it's obviously going to be live on BT Sport but that yeah. means we can't stream it. I don't think BT that would be back by to be honest because nothing else any credit to it. You can't you think we're the only team where we've ever achieved more than any team in that league this season again but they didn't, they didn't, if you have a look at the programme they didn't talk about it, they didn't mention it, they didn't think about it. I think in a year and a half we've been out the top seven twice in a year and a half part time budget as we're taught about and things like that and they still never get any credit. It drives me flicking nuts I'm not bothered with them to be honest. You know, like, no, no, you know, that's, that's you know but, but, but it's one of them where, you know, if they're here, they're here, and the lad who does it's not a bad lad, but have a look at the highlights and all that, they didn't give work and no credit whatsoever, and it's getting on my nerves to be honest. We went to Hartlepool, got a good show for them, we went to Maiden, um, Maidenhead last year, done a great show for them, what more do I want? I think some teams have been on 14, so our first time at Christmas, we've been in the top six all season. Yeah, but, but my point actually is that not all that many people will subscribe to BT Sport. So uh, if they don't yeah. pay for it, they're not going to be able to see the game at oh, all because it can't get streamed. Oh, so yeah, well, that, that, if your point's different than my point, I accept that because my points are anger, but I think we should get more credit here. And I think we should be on telly more because we're entertaining. We'll score goals all the time we do. You know, we'll play attacking football. But the bottom line is, like you say, we haven't been out this circular of the top 10, top 7, top 6, top of the league, third top for the last two years. And they, but, it's only a little bit of work, I suppose. Uh, that's the way we probably look at it. So, uh, but your point's fair point that if supporters can't watch it, they've got to try to find it from somewhere and probably end up not watching it. A lot of people, yeah. and that's sad. So I get that as well. Yeah. Okay. Uh, well, you've mentioned uh, last Saturday already. Um, you were you got reported in the Hartley Paul Mail. I don't know if you're aware of this for the comments you made in this interview last week, <laughs> saying Hartley Paul are a way bigger team. They shouldn't be in this league, etc. Oh, I I uh, uh, got a lot of credit for I saying that. I, I hope the Dalton fans do a thing. I do cop here for Dalton. You know. <laughs> <laughs> no, maybe they will, but no, uh, you certainly I, got some credit in the North East for the, those comments. Right. But my tongue-in-cheek question to you is that when you beat them 3-0 the next day did you feel guilty about it not at all not one not. bit not one bit no no i do think it's a massive club it, 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 it's not really massive if you're a working fan you don't really think the dark hartley pool being massive down here but up there they're massive up there you think they should be in the league more and just as well as Notts county and stockport and all the big hitters you know chesterfields of the world and things like that no um 
you know, it, it, it's just, uh, they, they'll probably be shocked that we beat them 3-0, but I thought we fully deserved it. We've done our homework on them, we're trained about them as well. And, um, you know, I thought it was a great performance. So it went 4-4-2. Um, we went in their faces with them, we matched them all around the pitch. And I thought the lads done ever so well. Uh, but not knocking their group and their manager and um, their players and that, you know, I still think Hartlepool's a massive club for non-league football, just like I think Chesterfield and people like them are big clubs. It's just because we are still a visual, um, how can I put this, where everybody in working from working days 25 years ago the non-league change now like yeah. so you know there's not many non-league teams in our league they're all the top you know top even Barnet football league you have a massive football league club just i feel i can go on and on and on we're just the ones who haven't made it and that's the thing we're going to change sure um you, well you certainly made an impression on dave chaloner because he described them afterwards as shambolic and said they were bullied all afternoon and he did oh, after, after going I thought, back, I thought we were better not to be honest <laughs> <laughs> after going all the way back from here at sort of six o'clock Saturday he had yep. him in for training on Sunday morning is that right yeah no, but I, I, I might have done the same and if we're full time next year you might do things like that yeah um, because but oh, if you're full aiming and you come to a place like this you want a performance if he hasn't got one and that's what you know listen he's doing well in management honey and he's He's, he got the, the final of it, he won the trophy didn't he and second in the league so, uh, yeah. so he's went there and expectations are high there so if he's not getting what you want I, I think that's what managers do anyway we might put extra training sessions on we're not happy about it and then um, you know the bottom no. so no, I, think, like, I thought the crowd getting them back was great I thought the performance along the pitch was excellent I thought the midfield two were our best two players on the day um, the front two worked very hard the Widen's done okay um, you know the back four's kept a clean sheet and you know Rossi had one thing off the biggest um, chance that Shotton's had was against Rossi but as he blinking out he's pulled off that little save you know so um, I was quite pleased about it to be honest I was pleased with it all around yeah and uh, it was uh, Matt Jarvis scoring after two minutes was right. clearly a, a boost and set the tone it was because um, you know I, you don't know right Matt didn't you you don't know yeah. um uh, you, the big honest the goal was better than it looked because he kept his head down and done it and all but he, he, you know a bit thing about Matt we've got to get games out of him he's got to do that on a regular basis he knows that anyway he was training a couple of weeks beforehand trying to get in the team he's got himself in the team now so that's what we expect the Matt to be honest you know and he's done alright on the day um, we are um, looking at different things in that area to be honest but the bottom line is um, you know if he can get in the team he needs he needs to get in the team he needs to score goals he needs to uh, play he got in the team we lost a few games he got injured again and all the rest of it now what Matt he needs more than anything and he'll be a first time minute he needs 10 games not just to get himself fit because that's cobblers he needs 10 good games to play well and that's what he needs to do so he benefits the club um, and so the quicker we get them out of him the better and it's like all around the pitch there's no good players just playing just for the sake of playing like, the, the midfield two don't talk like that because the midfield two are the best players on the pitch but they're playing every week at the minute Mike needs to get in keep his players play well for her then it'll be a blinking good sign in the summer won't it you know yeah of course um, Max's red card given that we've not heard anything can we assume that there was no appeal yeah it's handbags all about money it wasn't a red i think everybody knows that but if you slow it down it looks as though he's clipped his chin and it's showing on it could be your photographic could be there it looks as though so you've got no chance of peanuts it's like ben gavins in my day that was a proper tackle by ben proper you know firm but nowadays it slows it down his back foot's trailing and all that you know so you can't do any more so what's the point in the argument i just i just feel as sure about again you know i've had a crack at bt you just get a bit of fed up sitting on the side of the fence at times you do because you're thinking you're getting a bt who don't want to know you're getting blinking referees who seem to give them every decision from customer against sutton till a penalty we could have had at notts county till a penalty we did get against not a giveaway against notts county to set us up i just think we haven't had no look of a green come from referees no i don't want any special treatment from referees i'm not saying oh you don't look after us because we're little old working but between the publicity we're getting off the telly who nobody's giving a look in until the referee's decisions i think we're getting hard done by a bit i really do i think everybody's got to look at us and say listen we're on it even key like everybody else that's all we want this that respect really that's all we're doing i don't think we've had it for the last two years i think um obviously our supporters are, are biased but i think we'd all be say that we're, it's amazing to find that working are right at the top of the disciplinary league i know i, mean, I it's know not, just it's, never it's been crazy. that sort of team i haven't got i haven't got a kid to make a tackle i haven't got anybody to make a tackle they're the computer great competing around the pitch we're competing i'm not saying but i haven't got like a hatchet man i haven't got somebody who's like oh yeah. i did a nasty piece of work they wanted that i haven't got one and for us to be top of that it's ridiculous so that's the only medal i win this season i'll be disappointed so it's one of them where you know 
yellows we're getting yellows for things i'm thinking how did he do that and we're getting reds the same and i'm thinking how it, 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 i've come away from a lot of games thinking how like, I've, I've talked to top people in the game and say oh it's just one of them phases you're going through and a bit unlucky here unlucky there and all that you know and stuff and you know he, he has locked out skill getting a yellow for a penalty what never was and a kid who started on the floor scoff feet and got off it and that's you're thinking is it good players it not no like you know and even a kid for certain uh, cases i didn't think that was a red i think there's a lot of things going on you know um in football where you're thinking the referee's got to have a look at the cells it, it must be good up a yellow cards every season and is, is it about them yeah, the game used to be with football that's what game used to be about now you get this fear thing what's coming with new to help the referees or is it, it's because certainly not helping football if you ask a kid on the street it? so the fear comes in to help the referees they make up little rules every single season to help referees if you give them more yellows and reds, I think you go up a ladder as well. If you don't give me, you know, like, so how about concentrate the football? So, like, do I have a drink with referees afterwards? Of course I do. Will I, will I talk them? Of course I will. But I just think the whole structure of the whole we get, we bring the assessors in, they do. We get the, the man, their managers in, they do. We even bring the bloody wives, some of them, and all that, you know, and you think the referee, you give a football. And you're thinking, ah, not for me, like, you know, I just think, the referee should referee just like we should as players. And if somebody's in the stand watching you, they shouldn't know. They shouldn't have a clue. If their coach is there, if their assessor's there, they shouldn't have a clue. To let them referee normally, because I do. I think with somebody watching you, they'll do things differently. Like, oh, mm. no, we're doing it. Yes, I do. So uh, I think yeah. a quicker football get to get rid of fear, because that's a little crap anyway. Get it back to playing proper football. If they make a mistake, they make a mistake. There's the only way we're going to get better. Because what else are we going to do now? The game starts for 20 minutes in the Premiership game, just to see if the goal is allowed or not. We let them make a mistake. Just that get better that's just if we make of these mistakes what i'm making it's just because they're not good enough the only way we're going to get better is by going back to how it used to be where you referee you, you haven't got a coach you haven't got a assessor you'll get just on somebody what you know whatever i want to tell you and so and when the assessor comes we do it nowhere there and it'll be just on that you yeah. know what i mean so that's what we like so max is going to be missing for the christmas program basically have, yep. are, have you got any other players suspended i do it know yet you know at the minute we're just waiting on the bookings which we haven't got sent through yet so at this minute everybody's all right at this minute you know so because of course everybody can play presumably on saturday as it's the trophy different competition i, I do think max can i i didn't i thought the no. red cards in the league only applied to league games but i could be wrong oh I, I, wait no I, I just think if it's a straight red it's something different I, that's okay. what i think like, listen I, i'm one of them but we'll, we'll train tonight and I'll, I'll get a group of players tomorrow Jeff Chapman will tell us who can come and come play. And I'm, I'm like, I'm really like, you know, so it's one of them. If Max can't play Saturday, um, I don't think he can. Um, right. Then so be it. But if he can, he'd be in the squad. And of course, Ben Gehring's in a similar position. Oh, brilliant, huh? is, is, uh, if he's if he is able to play, will you let him play for Oxford in the trophy? Aye. If, right. if he if he if it was going to wait, I don't I don't know if he can as well. I just you know. But, would I let him play? Yeah, probably would. Yeah, yeah, I would have. And then, um, you know, it was the plan was for him to come back on Christmas Day anyway and play. But if that's taken out our hands now, you might need a couple more games. Yeah, you know? but if if we get past Dover, you yeah. then have he would then be cup tied and wouldn't be able to play in subsequent rounds. But he can't play a Saturday then. Well, that's what I'm saying. If, no. if it turns out he can, because it's well, I don't think he's a do. league match. Right? I, I, I don't think probably right. Uh, no, no, I think I'm right. Okay. Yeah, no, you're wrong on this one. Really. <laughs> Mayo's right. Mayo's right. Almost certain. I'm trying to play a game here, dear, but you're not buying into the game. No, we can't play it. <laughs> and then uh, Max can't play either. Let's get the cards on the table. Let's, let's be simple about it. Instead of trying to work, you know, look, I'm not clever to play main games. Work players can't play. Fair enough. Right. Okay. I should have said that at the start. So, um, players on the way back Kane, yep. Ferdinand, and John Goddard. How, yep. how close to selection are they? Johnny's favourable for selection. Just been out a long time. I think he might need some games, my opinion. I'll be, you know, in all that because. He's been on quite a long time, a bit of a whack on the ankle, but um, you might need some games again, just like Ben's got, that's what I think, and all that. Kane is never in, well, never really, um, with an injury, you'll play through an injury, so when you know a king, um, he's injured, you sort of look and you're thinking, um, you know, it's something serious, he's got a roll on his ankle, he probably missed Saturday, maybe be fit for the following Christmas, or we'll have a look at night how he is, but if he's fit, he'll play. You know, so the two lads in there have done very well, so like, if I have to, and block his back, block his back, you know, and stuff where, well, like we've been fighting cat and dog with the uh, with physios they're saying he's not ready yet and he might even do 10 to 15 minutes here or whatever but but the way he ran you know on saturday and the way he trained on tuesday he'll be flat out at night when he's got to come contention as well to be honest um with kian is saturday too early i probably think so to be honest but i don't think that you know the order shot game will be too early to be honest i think you play 
and Tyler Reed seems to have disappeared a bit. Aye, oh, just kind of get in because uh, it'd be a fair of Lofthouse. He's been our top two or three players every week at the minute. He really is. I think he was excellent Saturday again. So, uh, and like, sometimes with Nathan on the bench instead of Tyler, I'm just trying to be honest about it. Nathan can play four or five different positions where Tyler can probably play one. Maybe he's two. So um, that's the only reason he's not on the bench. If not, he would have been on the bench. It's just when you look at your team, you're thinking, where do you need in different areas? You all, you need strikers on there. You need a defender on midfield. Like you try to, Nathan can fit two of them little out of three sort of things. So that's why Nathan's on there and Tyler's not. And uh, Malachi Napper is training again. See him at Deer. Um, see him at Deer. Before I left Oxford, training ground at Deer, which I've been down. Um, he was doing this little bit of running. He was. So he's back on the training ground running. He was actually doing stuff with a ball at Deer. So that could be positive going forward. Again, what do we do about it? Because we've got five loans and that would make it six loans. So I think we need a couple of permanent signings, me personally, which we're, we're trying to work on. Um, loan signings don't come in at the minute. So if Malachi was available now, would we take him? I doubt it because we've got five loans playing who are in the team at the minute. Now, do we change that in January or do a couple of them got to go back in January? The football world, so you just keep your eye on everything. At the minute, we're trying to look on the permanent side of things rather than the other side. Right. And lastly, we touched on this last week about um, how yeah. Dover are going to view this match on Saturday. Yeah. Do you think there's a chance that they might play even play a weakened team because the league survival is much more important? No chance. You, you know, no chance. You, you, he's a winner. Has a tenner. Winner. Um, they, they haven't played for four weeks, I believe. I think they played our game and they played on the Saturday. Haven't played. If I was their manager, and I'd like tell him he, he, he's got your face, I'd get off him sometimes. I know what he's like, he'll, he'll go flat and want to win the game because they've got a game Tuesday, so you want to get the cobwebs out, you want to get a partner player against us, and you want to win a game desperately to give them confidence because if I lost on Saturday, I think it'll be a tough game. Um, they say they haven't played for a long time, so it'll be fresh, they will. So uh, I, I, we'll go flat out, there's no question about the talk, we'll be flat out, we'll play their strongest side with everybody fit and they'll want to beat us. Okay, well, good luck to them, but let's hope they don't beat us. Yeah. And uh, we look forward to that game on Saturday and progress in the trophy. Brilliant, let's go.